Hi everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. Today we are filming our collab with Rebecca and hey, 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 hey. Okay, so this is our mini madness project pan. We have chosen 20 minis in our collection to use up. By now, it is the finale <laughs> and we were gonna see how we do. Now, when we finished a product, we were able to roll one in, which was awesome for me because a lot of the products I put in at the beginning um, were very hard. <laughs> very they were larger than I thought they were going to be so it was nice to roll in some easier products because I hit 21 I finished 21 out of 30 products I had in this collection this project so I can't believe that I finished so many I'm so proud of myself I'm feeling like really good and ramped up for January and let's get into it because I want to show you what I didn't touch first <laughs> And these were two things that I put in at the beginning, and then I just, I was using other project pans, projects, and products, so it, like, didn't work out for me. And that is the Tarte Parte blush. Um, I did use this for about two and a half, three weeks. You can see I did wear some of this down, um, not enough really to make any difference, and I definitely didn't hit pan on it, which was my goal. But I thought it was nice, I'm glad that I tried it, I'm glad I like the color. I'm going to put it away for right now. <laughs> and this is the Cover FX Translucent Light Setting Powder. It's just a tiny, tiny little guy, but I was trying so hard to use it my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, which I did, cha-ching, and um, this just didn't get very much love. I think I used this one time. So, now let's go on to empties, <laughs> because empties are really where I killed it, killed it this year. And I have two fragrance minis. Did I say that funny? Fragrance minis. They're both from Victor and Rolf. I've got the Victor and Rolf Magic Salty Flower, which I rolled in last month, and the Victor and Rolf Magic Dancing Roses, which I rolled in initially. They're just these little free ones you get, you know, through purchases and everything like that from Sephora and Ulta. I always choose fragrance samples because it's free and fragrance is very expensive. Um, I didn't really love either of those, to be honest with you. Um, they had a deep, both of them had this deep woodsy note scent, and then it had either like a floral or the salty floral finish. Um, it just wasn't my favorite. I won't be seeking those out. I really like Flower Bomb though. Out of that brand, I really like Flower Bomb. So I'm hoping Victor and Rolf comes out with another fragrance that I love. I also used up a lot of skincare. <laughs> so I used up the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer in Nude Glow. If you are looking for a glowy lotion, this is really good. <laughs> this is really good. So I am wearing a foundation right now that's a little bit heavier on my skin. Um, so when I applied this underneath, it was nice. It kind of gave the heaviness a lift. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. It kind of illuminated from this matte heavy look that I was going for. Well, that I had in my foundation I'm trying to use up. And I thought that this paired really, really nicely with it. And there was a good amount of product in here. Um, it says 0.24 ounces or 7 milliliters, but I use this for probably two months, six weeks, with no issue. I know it was wonderful. Um, I won't be going out because I don't really love Glam Glow. <laughs> but I thought this was nice. I, I thought it did exactly what it said it was going to do, and it felt very hydrating, and it smelled amazing. So it was a win, even though I won't be repurchasing it. I also used up the Sunday Riley um, A Plus High Dose Retinol Serum. This I also rolled in last month. This is a wonderful serum. I My only thing with this one is it does have a lot of retinol in it. I'm 32. Yes, I use retinol to get rid of some of my fine lines and wrinkles. However, this is not exactly um, to the level of retinol I want at the moment, although I did think this did a good job for my skin. And I did see that my skin felt and looked really nice. I don't know. Just not, not where I'm at right now. The last type of body care thing is the multivitamin hand and nail treatment. I was there when I put this in last month, um, and I took this on my trips with me. Uh, if you guys know, I traveled over New Year's and Christmas. This came with me. I finished it up because I was flying a lot, and it was very, very dry. So I actually ended up using this in a lot of different places, just not for my hand and nails, but I put it on my my elbows and my knees and my ankles. My ankles swell when I fly, so <laughs> I'm an old lady. So I like rubbed it on my feet and my ankles and like got myself ready before and after flights um, with this because I get really dried out too. So 
I thought that this was good. I wouldn't go out and repurchase it just because I have so many lotions that I need to get through. And yeah, I have more lotions that I'll use up in three years. <laughs> um, I am missing a few things. Okay, so I also lost something on one of my trips. I had this little, um, the little mini of the Buxom White Russian. It did not come back from Belgium with me. <laughs> I don't know where it went, but I completely unpacked and I can't find it, which is a bummer because I was really close to finishing it. And if I had found it, I would have finished it this week. But it is gone. Maybe it'll show up eventually. I remember the last thing I remember is putting it on this armoire and I don't remember repacking it off the armoire. But I didn't, like, when I looked through the room, I didn't see it on the armoire. So, like, maybe it rolled underneath. I don't know where it went. But it is not in my possession currently. Um, so that one didn't get finished, but whatever. I also have finished, I'm not counting that one as a finish, but like, it's just irking me a little bit. Because it would have been done. <laughs> um, I also finished, and I showed you in my year-end empties, but I threw them away, <laughs> were two mascaras, the Lancome Lash Primer and the Kush Mascara by Milk. I finished both of those. They had been open for four months. I used them for four months, decided that it was time to let those go. Um, the Kush Mascara had kind of an hourglass wand. It was a natural bristle brush. It, um, how do I say, looked like it pulled down my lashes, but when you put the primer on to lift them, it looked fantastic. So if I was going to buy the Kush Mascara, I'd have to buy the Lancome mas <laughs> Primer because those two worked so well together. But I would say the Kush Mascara on its own isn't my favorite mascara. It wasn't bad, it's just not my favorite. Um, it did just make my lashes like heavy, which means it had a lot of product on it, which is good because when you lifted them up, it was like ba bam and it looked fantastic. But it just, it, it wasn't a standalone mascara. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, the Lancome Primer works great with the Kush Mascara. I think it's an extra step that I don't need in my life. <laughs> but I did finish that, so that's another two empties. My last empties are both makeup empties. And I finished a nail polish, yay! This is the Julep in the shade Carissa. Again, this is just a mini. This took me so stinking long. Okay, so last month I was there. And then I finished all of that. This was probably another five and a half polishes. Like on both hands and my toes are painted. <laughs> um, I did take this on vacation with me to try and use it up. And I did it, I actually got to the point where I was turning it upside down, shaking it, the ball, the mixer ball was coming down, and it was super gloopy. So this is done. I am very excited. I love Gila polishes. You guys know they are my favorite. My last empty is not a surprise if you followed my mini lip use up last year, but I finally finished Tannin. Bada boom, bada bing. This is from Bite Beauty. These are their dual sticks. I did not even touch the other side. So it still smells okay, barely. <laughs> um, I love this deep shade. My only issue with it um, is that because of the formula of these Bite Beauty lipsticks, they move around a lot. They never set because they're not a liquid lipstick. And this had a shine to it, um, just like a natural shine. It looked really nice, but because it had a shine, it kind of moved around. It came off on all my food. It was a high maintenance dark red lipstick. Um, I'm glad I'm using it. Well, I, I used it. I'm glad I finished it. I won't be repurchasing it, but I do love the formula of these Bite Beauty lipsticks. And I bought one. <laughs> I have, I've got other ones in my collection, just not in that shade because that one was too high maintenance. So that brings our empties to 21. <sighs> it's like so nice to get so much of this out of my collection. Like the pile of empties is so much nicer now. <laughs> so nice. Um, but let's go through what I still have remaining because I only have a few products remaining. As you know, my lost lip gloss, Buxom White Russian, that one's still remaining. I also have the Benefit Give Me Brow. I put this in last month. I didn't think I was actually going to use this in a month, but I wanted to start working on it. I have this in my brows today. Um, I think it's fine. I actually like to use this kind of on its own. It just adds enough color and volume to give my brows like a set. Um, 
so I like it. I just won't pay the full price, but whenever I get them in the minis, I'm very happy to get them. I think the Essence Give Me Brow, or Make Me Brow, or whatever that one is, is the exact same thing. So <laughs> I'd rather pay $4 and $24 because I can't see a difference. Oh, and what shade is this in? Who cares and who knows? Probably three. They always seem to give out three. Yep, three. <laughs> Um, I also am very close to finishing this one, but I didn't quite get there. This is the Biotherm Aqua Source Aurora Concentrate Serum. This is an intense, intense regenerating serum, moisture, and glow. So I put this in last month. It was full. I'm now right by the B in Bioderma. And um, this is interesting. It's a dual one. You shake it up like that, and then uh, you put it on your hand, rub it on your face, and there's your serum. This is a pretty heavy serum. Like, you have to put quite a bit on your face, I found, uh, which is funny because I've got normal skin. So if you are very, very dry, since it's supposed to be intensely hydrating, I don't exactly know where you'd go with this. Like, you have to put, like, this entire bottle on your face. But this is about a week's worth of use on it, um, so I'll probably finish here pretty shortly. I thought it was nice. I probably wouldn't go out and repurchase it, though. I didn't really... I just felt like I had to use so much. That's all it is. I just felt like I had to use much, and especially if it's supposed to be, like, intensely hydrating and it... It wasn't. Doesn't mean anything different to me. Um, I have, in terms of makeup, the Love of Color Crayon. This is what it looks like. That's what I've got left on it. You can see I probably do need to sharpen it. If we look at the paper, that is where I was last month. That is where I am today. And that's how much I have left to go. So I do have a lot left, but look how much progress I got. Very, very steady progress. I use this as an eyeshadow base. And I, while I don't think it's an amazing one shade look, like I can't just put this all over my lid and be happy with it because it creases on me. It does a really good job of acting like a primer and holding the shadow into place. I've got it underneath what I'm wearing today. You can't even tell that it's bronze. <laughs> it just deepens out a little bit. That's all it is. Um, but it's nice. I like it. I'm going to keep it. And I'm going to hopefully use it up this year. 2020 is the year of me like using up products like this that I just have half done. Um, the nail polish I didn't finish, although this is actually probably my favorite color. I prefer this to the Carissa. This is Angie, but look how much juice I got out of it. So I was there last month, I am there now, and that's what? One and a half nail polishes. <laughs> I'm very close. I actually had to put thinner in this one. Um, Angie, the, the one I finished, I was able to tip upside down. This one doesn't want to come out as much, and this one's much gloopier. So I put a little thinner in here, and it gave me a bit of a, you know, a refresh on this polish. So I will finish that up here in the next few weeks. You guys know I'm doing my 100 polish challenge, so we'll see that in there. <laughs> that will be used up, <laughs> just so um, I don't have to keep it around with that much polish left in it. Plus I think it would dry out, right? Like it's barely anything in there. In terms of eyeshadow, you guys know I've had this in since the very beginning. I finished two of the shades in this little quad. So, I finished this one. This is now, what was that called? In the Buff, that was a cream. That This is now the highlight from my Becca Pan That Face palette that I am decluttering out of my collection, but this is that's all the highlighter I've got left. Um, and then I have also finished this one, which I have re-hit pan on. This is called Toast. And that is from my Tarte palette, and that's the cream from there. But as you can see, I didn't finish the dark brown, which is Mink, although I hit good pan on that. I'm very proud. I had to repress this, and I think I'm doing a really good job on that. And I didn't finish this kind of champagne shade in the shade Sunrise. Um, this is a mix of two shadows, but I was hoping kind of hit pan on that at least, and I didn't quite get there. Um, but I'm very, very pleased with their, where this went. I finished two out of the four, and I am happy with that. And then this other Ulta quad, I wanted to hit pan right here, and I did. This is in the shade Iceland. You can see I hit pan. Not a huge amount of pan, but good pan. Um, my goal, I wanted to finish it, but my goal was to hit pan, so I'm calling it done, even though I didn't really finish it, per se. Um, but yeah. That's what we got. This is, I can't believe that out of 30 products, I was able to finish 21. I showed you the remaining nine that I have with me. God, I think this is the second time in three years I have lost a product, which is like, 
<laughs> but thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you in my next video. Keep on painting. Bye.